Hey, it's Andreas. Let's talk about Metastock. Now, the last time I made a video on this company, the share price was 252 American dollars. This was right after the Q4 earnings. And I said back then that I still think that this company is expensive. Well, now it's a different story. Now the stock is trading at 187 dollars at the time I'm making this video. And now I think that this stock is cheap. Why? Well, I will show some data, but you know, in the beginning slide here, just take a look at the price to earnings ratio. It's now below 14. It's almost as if the market's pricing in very little or almost no growth in this company. Sure, guiding was lower for the first quarter of this year. However, Facebook, I mean Meta, is investing way too much money for there to be no growth. Just take a look at Realty Labs. They have invested a massive amount of money in this company. And I brought some data here for you guys for 2019 to 2021. You can just see the losses that they've been racking up. And for those of you who are only listening and not viewing, net losses for 2019 was 4.5 billion and in 2020 net losses was 6.62 billions and then for last year 10.19 billions so meta is spending a ton of money on this virtual reality they're literally bleeding cash and the question is what are they getting for all of this money i don't believe that you know, a founder-led company is just wasting money, not expecting to get any growth back, and that this type of big bet will not have the potential to pay off in the future. Where so much energy and capital is ex exerted, it's almost bound to make something happen. And just, you know, really put these numbers into context, I brought up some more data here. So Reality Labs, they lost 3.3 billions in the quarter of you know, the last year, the last quarter of the last year. And to, you know, Alphabet, that's Google parent company, their other bets segment, which included, you know, self-driving cars, etc. They lost about 1.45 billion during that same period. So what are they spending it all on? Is it R&D? Is it employee payments, salaries? I mean, what are they getting for this money? Only the future will tell. However, right now they're trading super, super cheap. Let me just you know, bring up some more data for the segment of internet software. So we can see that Meta Platforms is one of the most profitable companies in the internet software segments at least according to the price to earnings ratio and if we take a look at such metrics as price to sales ratio we can see that even this is very attractive now and you know insider held 14 percent of the company it's great to see that the owners have a stake in the business that they're managing this is a positive signal when they're making you no know, big bet with basically their own money in this case. And you know, take a look at all of the other companies here. They get a lot better price to earnings ratio. I mean, Snowflake, not profitable yet. However, they used to have 100% year over year growth. It dropped to 81% for uh, the last year here, so stocks plummeted after that, the Snowflake stock. But, you know, Facebook, in terms of pricing right now, I think it's very fair. And if I were to have more disposable income left for this month, then sure, this is a buy for me. There are a lot of companies right now that I consider buys. I just wanted to share my opinion on Meta here. I've changed my mind on it. It's not a sell for me anymore. Now it's a buy. Whatever trades you decide to do, I hope you make a ton of money. Take care now. Bye-bye.